I've always loved mountains. To me, there's just a certain mystery. They beckon you to uh, go forth and explore. Because of the richness, the biological diversity, uh, the mountains here are just infinitely fascinating. I'm Steve Kemp, and uh, for 30 years I worked as the uh, Interpretive Products and Services Director for Great Smoky Mountains Association, educational partner of Great Smoky Mountains National Park, connecting people with the resources in the park, the plants, the, the wildlife, the geography, the mountains themselves, and helping people learn a little bit more uh, in depth about flora and fauna to me has always been very important. Uh, sometimes I compare it to living in your hometown and not knowing the names of any families that live there or not knowing any of the businesses or the history of the town. Walking through the woods and not knowing the names of any of the trees or wildflowers or, or birds is, is like that. You're walking through the mountains, it's always beautiful, you're always going to enjoy it, but that appreciation deepens the more you learn about a place. We have over 11 million visitors a year. That's more than any other national park. As far as educators and, and rangers go, we might have 20, 25 working in the park during the summer. So that's a lot of people to cover, and that's one of the reasons we've developed uh, such a robust publications program and media program, to try to connect with those 11 million visitors and enhance their, their experience here in this park so they understand the park a little better and uh, hopefully become stewards of the park eventually. We look forward to uh, having new talent come to the Great Smoky Mountains and uh, being inspired by the mountains, by the wondrous diversity of life here, and seeing the uh, park through their eyes, from, from their unique perspective, so that we can see the park anew ourselves. The successful candidate might be working on articles for our park newspaper, Smokey's Life magazine, for one of our newsletters, developing texts for an interpretive exhibit, a wayside exhibit, perhaps something for the, the website or for our social media program. But again, it'll be interpreting this magnificent national park for the general public. People don't necessarily come to national parks to learn, but once they're here, they often get inspired. They're away from their everyday lives and their homes and everything that's normal and predictable to them. And sometimes they're open to learning experiences in a way they aren't when they're at home. So we have opportunities here to, uh, to touch people, to connect with people in very special ways.